Tasha K. And as you already know, I am back. I was about to say we are back, but I'm by myself, so I am back with another episode of Keeping Up with Tasha K. And if you follow me on Instagram, L O V E dot K Y S H A, you may or may not remember when I had did a question thing and I had said, you know, what should I do my next video on? What should I do my next video on? And so I'm getting my ideas from that and then also some things that I've just been wanting to do. But you know, this school year came to an end or whatever. Congratulations to everybody because we all went through, we all persevered, this, that, and the third, and we all got through it like we're finished. But even though this is the end of the year, you know what that means? You know, people are moving on to the next level. And with that being said, that means that the school that I go to, Morgan State University, will be having some new incoming freshmen. Okay, MSU 24. And so basically, if you didn't already catch on, this video is going to be for MSU 24. If you're nervous about school, um, what's, what are some things you feel like you should know? Or, you know, like even transfer students or just um, people who already go there, like just me reminding you of like, you know, what you feel like you should know or what you should remember. That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video today. So yes, that's what we're gonna be talking about. And you know, shout out to the people who was helping me come up with some of this. Y'all know who y'all are, shout out. So yeah, MSU 24, transfer students, current students, doesn't matter. We're gonna go into this next school year, I pray with a strong mind. And I'm gonna give y'all my first piece of advice. So after I sat and really thought about it, you know, got the opinions from other people in college, this is number one. The number one thing should be time management. I cannot express that enough. Please manage your time appropriately. I'm telling y'all like please manage your time appropriately because first of all, I don't know why, but time just seems to be flying like some days like when when we were at school or like when I was at school like the week the weeks will be going by so quick. And it's just like, oh my gosh, got to do this, got to do that. And I'm like, dang, the week is almost done. You have to manage your time because you don't want to be stuck at last minute. Sorry, throat getting a little dry. You don't want to be stuck at last minute not having your stuff done. And it's just going to be so bad. You're going to be stressed out. I, everyone always, like um, my mentor and like other upperclassmen, always recommended to me to get a planner because it'll help you like set out like it'll help you literally lay out like what you need to do for the week like what you need to get done um prioritize stuff that's not as important or stuff that you know for a fact can wait like let it wait like get all the get all of the important things done like just manage your time like don't waste your time don't brush stuff off if you're sitting there and you're bored like think like oh this will be a good time to do this this will be a good time to do that you know like just do not like look 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 in my eyes do not waste your time like that is the number one thing for me like don't waste your time okay so that was the first thing time management second thing oh my goodness financial aid I'm telling y'all, when they're emailing you, do not ignore those emails. As soon as you see an email from financial aid and you're like, you better get on that as soon as possible because um, current students and like even transfer students may already know like the way that financial aid works. And so to the freshmen, financial aid will send you like so many emails, this is not in, that's not in, we need this, we need that. Like get on top of it and stay on top of the financial aid stuff because I know they have, I'm not really sure like the whole 
like logistics of it but they have something where it's like if you don't get something done by the by the deadline they're gonna drop your classes and you're gonna be like stuck with no classes like they're gonna drop your whole schedule and you're just gonna be like what just happened and it's that and you don't want that to happen especially like in the middle of the semester especially like um when you have to be doing work and things like that you don't want your schedule to be dropped so just make sure you stay on top of financial aid um if you if, if they don't give you like actual like paperwork or like documentations of things when they send you emails or when you log into something or if you or if they send you emails or something make sure that you're screenshotting everything that's important regarding financial aid so that they don't say oh well sorry oh well we don't remember doing that we don't remember doing this but if you pull out the screenshot and you're like bam it's right there what can they really say because you have record of that so make sure that y'all are screenshotting your like financial aid and don't ignore the emails read the e read the emails from financial aid in their entirety i'm telling y'all like do not ignore the financial aid emails okay like are we right here with it i'm sorry i got a list over there like so i don't forget okay so we did time management please don't ignore financial aid oh and another thing y'all you know when you go in the financial aid office try to have a good attitude i know that it's stressful Sometimes when you're like, I don't know what's going on, why is this happening with my account, try to have a good attitude because I'm telling you, they are not going to want to help you if you don't have a good attitude. If you don't have a good attitude, you might as well just not even go in there. Like, just make sure you have a good attitude. You know, if you don't have questions, ask, ask them. Now, um, they, like, if you ask a question, they may not respond how you really want them to respond, but brush that off. Like, just, you know, brush it off, you know? Like, just be like, okay, I'm just gonna get this information and I'm gonna keep it going. But yeah, main thing, don't ignore those emails because don't ignore them. Okay, second, third thing. <laughs> but if y'all didn't know like people will already go to morgan like they have a, um, a cost of tutoring center and i'm telling y'all it really works okay so first semester this past school year okay yeah so obviously i was a freshman so i'm gonna be a sophomore so i took math 109 and even though that's like math for people who who are like trying to get careers that don't really have a lot of math involved but it was still math and I'm not strong in math and I really needed help. And I went to the Casa Tutoring Center. And you know what happened? They have some really good tutors there. So I would really recommend the Casa Tutoring Center for real. Like I would really recommend the Casa Tutoring Center because like you can make your own appointments, you know, whatever time you're free, whatever time you need help, but just make sure that you use it because you don't want to take a test in a class and then you don't do as well and then you're like dang i should have did this i should have did that you don't want to be regretting it you want to just go ahead and do it so make sure you go to the Casa tutoring center it's located in the communications building um for those of y'all who don't know where communications building is in the academic quad it's that building all the way across the bridge it's kind of a far walk from blount well not kind of it is a far walk from blount but hey 
that's probably where you're going to be having a lot of classes and that's where the tutoring center is and like i used the tutoring center and i was doing so good on all of my math tests and i and i got an a in math at the end of the semester so you already know it works so that really helped me out so make sure y'all use it okay four things so we have time management we have um don't ignore financial aid emails we have um use the cost tutoring center oh yeah and then again with that make sure that you're just using all of your resources get people's number in your class go to office hours use the tutoring um if you know anybody who's good at math ask them like use all of your resources please like don't settle for just you know doing this or doing that make it or if you don't understand so if you were to go to somebody and you don't understand don't just settle for not understanding make sure like you use all of your resources um, go on YouTube. I mean, me personally, I don't really recommend YouTube because, well, I'm not saying that YouTube is not good because it just doesn't work for me. Like, I need somebody, like, in front of me telling me how to do it, you know, step by step. I can't learn off of a video, but that's just me. Everybody's different, so you can try YouTube if you want. But next thing, so we all know, like, when you go to a school, like, each year you're going to be meeting new people, um, people who are like you, people who are not like you. And basically, when you meet those people, you just wanna make sure, and you become close with them, you just wanna make sure that you're choosing your friends wisely. And I say that a lot, well not, I don't say, I didn't mean to say, I say that a lot. I meant to say that I really emphasize that because you don't want to pick up friends who are just gonna like suck you into all this drama into all this unwanted attention like you don't want that you want friends who are really gonna be around you to push you who you can have fun with you know like you just want to make sure that you're choosing your friends wisely don't tell everybody your business please like if you're gonna tell people your business make sure it's somebody that you really trust but don't just go around here like talking to all these like not saying that you can't talk to a lot of people but i'm saying like as far as telling your business like don't just be out here like just telling this person your business telling this person your business because and it's funny because i was just having this conversation with my friend the other day and i was like and i told her like don't you just sit and listen like when you're talking to some people and they're telling you like other people's business and as they're telling you like other people's business you're like I'm glad I don't tell you any of my stuff because if I knew that you were gonna like speak and then another thing too when people are telling you people's business don't even feed it to it like just turn it all off y'all like turn it all off like because me personally I know like if somebody is trying to sit and tell me somebody else somebody else's business Ten times out of ten, I know that that person would not be comfortable with that person telling me their business. So I just shut it all off. I'm like, oh, oh somebody, you know, like I don't want to hear it. You know, like I don't want to know. If they didn't tell me, then obviously it's not meant for me to know. They're not my friend. Like we're not cool on that level. So I don't want to know like all of their stuff. You know. So like, just really be careful who you call your friend. Like. Um, don't trust people too soon like this goes for when you're hanging out with girls and boys like don't trust people too soon don't let your guard down too soon because at the end of the day yeah this is college and you want to have fun but at the end of the day you don't really like no no these people like you don't really know these people for real like you're just meeting them unless you know y'all are from like the same hometown or like you know Y'all knew each other from back home, but still, like, when you first get there, you're still really getting to know these people. Like, you don't really know them like that. And it's okay. Like, you can still get to know them and then, like, establish that, um, establish that bond because that's exactly what I did. Like, I didn't know, you know, my friend, but over the course of us, like, being together at school, like, we established this bond and we became, like, very close. And that's now somebody that I know that I can trust. So, like, you just have to, you know, like, do you know? Like, just don't let your guard down too soon. Like, have fun, but be smart. Next thing um, would be mental health. So, we, so, there is a mental health center that you can go to on campus. Now, I haven't gone to it um, actually before, but people say that. 
you know, like it's it's helpful. And I would say, you know, do that. Um, and you know, if you just want to have some alone time, like you don't really want to go to a party or hang out with your friends or anything like that, then you can just like go ahead and just be by yourself. Like don't feel like forced to do things just because everybody else is doing it. Like this is college and I'm telling y'all, this is a time to really find yourself. So like, yeah, you can like want to do things but like don't just do it because other people are doing it if you know that it's going against like your morals and your values then don't do it because you don't want to feel bad at the end of you doing it whatever you were doing because you know that you shouldn't have done it so you know like i just went way off but back to um like mental health you know like just take some time to just sit and relax like don't be in your room all the time, but I will say it is fine sometimes to be in your room to just rest and just watch some Netflix, eat some food, like just like relax for real because it is your room. So it's just like, you know, why not use it? But don't be in your room like all the time. Like make sure um, y'all are out like experiencing campus life, meeting new people, you know. I know some people don't really like to be in the midst, but if you do like to be in the midst, you know, make a name for yourself by going out. Like, you know, just don't stay in your room all the time, you know. Find some organizations that you can join. Meet some people that have the same interests as you. And I'm telling you, the college experience for you is just going to be 10 times better because you're going to know so many people. And yeah, like, it's going to be so much better. Um, another thing as far as, like, um, just, you know, being happy with yourself. Like, make sure that you take your time to do things. Like, when you're in college, it's a lot of people around you who are doing things, you know, like doing great things too, and that's great. But just because they're doing something doesn't mean that you're behind. So, like, don't feel rushed or don't feel bad because pe some people are doing this and some people are doing that. Because everybody moves at their own pace at the end of the day, you know, take the time that you need. But don't feel rushed like trying to like like don't try to compete with people because it's really no need for that like you know what's for you is for you and you know I hear people say that all the time and it's true like if that's their timing then that's them but if you need to go slower then you just need to go slower you know like it's nothing wrong with that like you would rather get the best results than results that are that you're not gonna be happy with because you rushed it you know so just make sure that you know you're you're doing everything that you need to do or whatever and you're gonna get good results another thing i understand you know there's gonna be parties almost every weekend it's gonna be stuff to do almost every weekend it's gonna be a kickback it's gonna be this it's gonna be that okay i understand you know like we're in college and we're supposed to be having fun this that and the third but it is nothing wrong with going to parties you know like i've been to parties i've been to kickbacks i've been to this i've been to that you know, still, I've been to, I'm doing those things, but don't fall, like, too deep into that party and whole, like, where you're, like, falling behind in school because that's not cool. Like, another thing that my mentor told me was that, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to read, I'm trying to read, I was trying to read something, okay. So, another thing that, um, Oh my gosh, I hate when I do that. I think I was talking about part. Yeah, I was talking about parties. You don't want to go too deep into the party and hold that you're not doing well in school because that is not cute. That is not attractive. Like you want to make sure you stay on top of your work. You know, it's college. We're here to have fun. We're here to turn up. You're here to get lit. But still, like, don't um. Don't fall into that hole of just like being lazy and only going to parties because, oh, I know what I was about to say. I was about to say, my mentor had told me, you know, if you gotta miss a party, so what? You gotta miss it because parties will be going on throughout the year. Unfortunately, we didn't have a spring semester this year, but most likely there will be a spring semester this school year coming up. So there's gonna be a lot of parties and even during fall semester, like there was a lot of parties like there's always going to be a party like there's always going to be a party like you're never not going to be able to make up for not going to a party there's always going to be parties 
So since there's always going to be parties, sometimes you do have to miss them. And it's heartbreaking, I know it is, but you got to constantly remind yourself, like, why you're here. Like, you're not here to really go to parties. Like, if I wanted to go to parties, I could have, you know, stayed home. I don't need to pay money to stay out of school and go to a party. But if I'm going to go to parties, I got to make sure that I'm also staying focused and being, you know, book smart and staying in my work and things like that. And, um, you know, like, just most importantly, have fun, like. Like I said, yeah, like it's college, like, you know, it's not gonna be a scary thing. Like you might be nervous, but I'm telling you, it's a lot of nice people at Morgan. And I'm one of them. So if you see me, don't be, you know, scared to speak or anything because I'm really nice and I can talk to anybody. Like I can speak to anybody. Like I can go to conversation. Well, literally anybody like I don't I don't care or whatever but just make sure y'all are staying smart through this whole process and if you have any help um yeah you can follow me on Instagram at L-O-V-E dot K-Y-S-H-A um you can follow me on Twitter at O-H underscore that underscore K-Y and yeah you can follow me on those platforms um Thank you for watching this video. I really hope that, you know, MSU 24, y'all take this advice. I try to put it as organized and as clear as I could because I know that I can get off topic sometimes. But, you know, take this advice for real. So, I'm going to sum it up for y'all so y'all know the points. So, we talked about time management, financial aid, and the tutoring center, like, using your resources. We talked about choosing friends wisely, the mental health, like, not, um like just take your time to just settle down um you don't have to do things because other people are doing it um we also said take your time and then i also said have fun you know remember don't trust people too soon you know yeah don't don't trust people too soon that's just the main thing like and i'm not saying that as like you know a bad thing but i'm just saying like as a source of protection just saying as a source source of protection so thank you for watching i really hope you all enjoyed this and yeah like if you didn't subscribe subscribe um like send this video out because i know it's a lot of incoming freshmen who's gonna need it um so yeah like i really just hope y'all enjoyed and do follow me on my social media and yeah see y'all later when i make my next video Woo! <laughs>